hi guys let's solve this question so it says if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus x sine theta minus 2 sine theta is equals to 0 where theta belongs to 0 to 2 uh, pi over 2 then this equation is equals to any one of these options all right so here let's scaffold the question first so the question has an equation let's write that equation first so it says x squared plus x sine theta minus 2 sine theta is equals to 0 right and the value of theta is somewhere 0 comma belongs to 0 pi over 2 in that curve now it also says that it has roots alpha and beta so roots are alpha and beta right and we know that alpha plus beta addition of the roots is equals to minus b over a and alpha times beta is equals to c over a if you don't know this i'll link the video that explains uh, these roots really in depth um, I will link it somewhere above the screen and in the description below so you can watch that first to make sure you understand the basics before you get into this high level question right so for now the addition of the roots is minus b over a and alpha beta is c over a right and what is a b c so a b c are the coefficients here so coefficient of x square that is a is equals to one coefficient of x so b will be equals to sine theta and coefficient or like the constant value is the c which is minus 2 sine theta that is how we find a b c right and in case it is a like a cubic or a quadratic, it is a polynomial then it becomes a b c d e and the uh, the the main like formula or main the theme behind it usually stays the same so make sure you watch the video that i'll link below to understand the basics of these things first it's a really interesting topic all right so now that we have got alpha beta let's substitute the values here so alpha plus beta is minus b over a b is sine theta so it's going to be minus sine theta over one and c over a is going to be minus 2 sine theta right so now we have got a uh, alpha plus beta and alpha times beta from uh, the two equations above these two we can say that alpha plus beta this is half of this right so it is half of alpha times beta or in the better way we can write alpha times beta is equals to twice alpha plus beta all right that's uh, just an equation that will help oh, sorry that will help us substitute this value if need be somewhere all right so let's highlight that we might have to use this further now let's go to the uh, equation they have given us something that we have to prove like here let's copy that down and see what we can do with this all right so now it's basically algebra a lot of algebra that you will have to solve here so alpha plus beta alpha 12 plus beta square beta 12 uh, alpha minus 2 to the power of minus 12 plus beta to the power of minus 12 alpha minus 12 plus beta minus 12 and alpha minus beta to the power of 24 alpha minus beta to the power of 24 all right so now we need to solve this uh, expression let us uh, see what we can do so x12 plus B, beta 12 over uh, this thing here can be written as a fraction let's make it a positive exponent plus 1 over beta 12 and times alpha minus beta to the power of 24 right we are just simplifying it and we need to go really slow because one mistake anywhere can just 
uh, mark up the entire question so now we are left with alpha 12 plus beta 12 over if we expand this one here right so that is going to become uh, alpha times beta first the denominator same first so alpha 12 beta 12 as a denominator in the numerator we will have beta 12 plus alpha 12 and alpha minus beta to the power of 24 all right next now it is all uh, here it's all multiplication right so here this can be the total if we do it like that right and alpha minus alpha 12 and this thing oops it moves together don't worry about that i hope you will understand what i'm trying to say so now it is something on the top divided by divided by another fraction so if it is like uh, a over b over c all right so now if you have to multiply so it will be a divided by b over c so it can be written as a times c over b all right so this thing can be written like that so that is what i'm going to do now i'm going to keep the top one at the top so alpha 12 plus beta 12 stays on the top the c bit the last bit is going to come and times with that so the c bit is alpha 12 beta 12 on the top multiplication and over this b part this whole line here this thing here stays in the denominator right i hope you understand this so uh, b12 alpha uh, beta 12 plus alpha 12 is same as alpha 12 plus beta 12 and then the other bracket is alpha minus beta to the power of 24 all right this is a, a really complex step so i hope this makes sense uh, this whole bracket alpha 12 plus beta 12 and alpha 12 plus beta 12 can be cancelled because everything is in multiplication there so we don't have to worry now we are left with alpha 12 times beta 12 over alpha minus beta to the power of 24 all right now we can take power common so we can take alpha times beta over alpha minus beta to the power of 2 to the power of 12 all right now we have alpha times beta that we had on the top here we have alpha plus beta here but here we have alpha minus beta so how can we convert alpha minus beta whole squared into alpha plus beta whole square all right let's see what we can do so we know that alpha minus beta whole squared is equals to alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta right and alpha plus beta square is equals to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta all right so to cancel alpha beta because we don't need alpha square beta square we need alpha beta we know we have the value of alpha beta together so if we subtract these that can cancel that can cancel and we'll be left with alpha minus beta whole square minus alpha plus beta is equals to minus 4 alpha beta all right so from here we can, can uh, we can find the value of alpha plus beta in terms of alpha minus beta so here that's a square if we move this this side so that's going to be alpha minus beta whole square this minus when moves here is going to be plus 4 alpha beta is equals to alpha plus beta whole square all right we can substitute that here okay no we just needed the value of alpha minus beta so we don't need to move this on the side let's keep there because then we can substitute alpha minus beta there. all right now let's substitute so we have alpha times beta over in place of alpha minus beta whole square we are putting alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta whole power 12 all right so we have got that so far now let's see what we can do so now we have 
alpha plus beta alpha times beta we need to convert everything to the same um, variable kind of so what we can do here is we have alpha times beta on the top alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha beta alpha plus beta now let's see up here what we have we have alpha times beta is equals to 2 alpha plus beta let's substitute that All right so this thing is going to become 2 alpha plus beta over this is already alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 times 2 alpha plus beta and then power 12 all right let's see where we go now now we have everything in alpha plus beta terms we can take alpha plus beta common so alpha plus beta common we are left with 2 over alpha plus beta common in the denominator we have alpha plus beta minus 8 and whole power of 12 so alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta cancel we are left with 2 over alpha plus beta minus 8 to the power of 12 which if we expand further or when we simplify it's going to give us 2 to the power of 12 alpha plus beta we know that this is equals to minus sine theta so that can be written as minus sine theta minus 8 and then whole to the power of 12 because it's power 12 all right now let's go back and see is this one of the options that they have given us because that's like checking your answer if not then this is our answer in case the options were not given to us then this is the answer but now let's see if it has 2 to the power 12 minus sine theta minus 8 to the power of 12 uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. it has all positives now where did we go wrong did we write minus wrong somewhere or because it's an even power because it's an even power we can do 2 to the power 12 over minus 1 common sine theta plus 8 to the power of 12 and this is also to the power of 12 rules of exponents so that's going to give us 2 to the power of 12 over sine theta because 1 to the power of 12 is positive sine theta plus 8 to the power of 12 and this is definitely going to be in there so uh, sine theta plus 8 2 to the power of 12 sine theta plus 8 so the a1 is the answer option a is the answer all right is equals to option all right so because the options were given to us we can convert the answer into that form otherwise you can leave the answer there and you will still get full marks for that All right i hope this makes sense it was a really interesting question i'll definitely link the videos to explain the alpha beta and the roots um, in the description somewhere so make sure you watch that and make sure you subscribe All right have a good day